Good morning class 3. Today we will be doing page 62 of the poem Who Likes the Rain. Now in this poem, in this uh, page, there are certain questions which you have to answer. And even the poem starts with a question, Who Likes the Rain? There are four people who like the rain in the poem. Similarly, in this part of the chapter of the page, you have to actually match the questions with the answer. How far is the nearest airport? It is five miles away. Where did you go on where did you go on Wednesday? Where did you go on Wednesday? Uh, I went to the theater. When is Bet coming back from Mumbai? Uh, uh, he will come back on Sunday. What are you reading? I am reading Gulliver's Travels. Who broke the wars? Kate broke the wars. Break capacitance broke. Was means was means flower pot. So who broke the was? Kate broke the was. Why is little girl crying? Uh, she has hurt herself. Are you going for the picnic next week? Yes. No, I am not. Is Rajit going to participate in the competition? Yes, he is. So just match the questions with the answer. And the next question number two is. Pair up with your partner and ask five questions beginning with do and does. Your partner will answer your questions and let your partner ask you five questions with do and does. And it will be your turn to answer those questions. Now what you have to do is, you have to answer the... <coughs> you have to form a question and... You have, to, you have to give question to one person, maybe to your mother or maybe to your father or maybe to your friend or maybe to your brother or sister and they have to answer, okay, like this. You have to form five questions. Does it rain heavily in the month of April? No, it does not. Do you like to play indoor games on a rainy day? Yes, I do. Now, it, the questions are starting with does or do. So you have to form five questions where you have to use does and do like does your mother make tasty food? Yes, she does. And does your father uh, help you in the homework? Yes, he does. Uh, does, your, uh, does your friend play with you? Yes, he plays. Yes, he does. So when you have to use a third person that is and you have to use a third person, like you have to use mother, father, friend, brother or sister, then you always use does. But when you use yourself, then you have to use do. Like, do you like to play indoor games on a rainy day? Do you like to play with me? Do you like to finish your homework on time? Do you like to visit your grandma's house? You. Then you always use do. So please Send me videos with does and do five questions. You have to ask five questions in the video starting with either does or do. Where the does is to be used, you should be knowing. It is used with the third person and do with you. And, and the answers of those questions will be given by anybody in the family so that there is a conversation. So anybody, whosoever sends a nice conversation videos to me, will be applauded in the group. Please send it in the English homework group. Okay. <coughs> with this, with this video, you will actually understand where does and do are used. Okay. So make five form, five questions and give their answers and, and the answers of those questions will be given by your friend. Now let's do, let's do verbs in the, in your alpha book. So with this we finish your um, who likes the rain and on Wednesday I will be taking your uh, life class. I was not well so I didn't take your class So and we will be starting a new chapter maybe tomorrow. The musicians of Bremen that will be the last chapter of the English uh, which will be coming in your third unit test. Okay children now we, let's do the next topic of alpha book and that will be verbs. <coughs> okay children now just take out your book alpha and read verbs with me <coughs> <coughs> now 
Now, what are verbs? Words that tell us about an action are called doing words. A doing word is called a verb. The verb is am, is, am and are are different ways of saying be. They introduce a fact about a person, place, animal or thing. They are known as main verbs. When they are the only verbs in a sentence, for example, she is a student. When we use verbs is, am, are with other verbs ending in ing, they are called helping verbs. For example, he is eating an apple. Now, is is a main verb and eating is a helping verb. So, we use we use verbs was and were when we talk about something that happened in the past. We use was with singular nouns and pronouns I, it, he and she. We use were with plural nouns and the pronouns you, you, we and they. So we use the verbs has and have to show that something belongs to someone or some other thing. We use the verb had to show that something belonged to someone or some other thing in the past. We also use it to talk about something that has already happened or about things that affected us. So we also use had to say what we ate or drank. For example, he had a coffee at the snack bar. Now the form of the verb that tells us when an action takes place is called a tense. We use a simple present tense for actions as they happen. We add <coughs> D and ED to the verb for actions that happen in the past. This is called simple past tense. Now in this, you have to just you have to just revise the verbs. Replace the incorrect underlined verb with a correct one. The picture will help you. Now Dia is not running. Dia runs to her neighbor. Dia Dia talks to her neighbor. Not runs. She is talking to the neighbor. So instead of runs, you have to write talks. The postman writes on the door. The postman knocks on the door. K N O C K S. Why do you have to put S? Because it is a single postman. Why do you have to use runs? Because Dia is a single person. Aman and his father drive the car. Aman and his father wash the car. Now, when there are two, we will not use drives. We will use wash. We will not use washes. Joe and Rehan kick a kite. Joe and Rehan fly a kite. So, please correct the verbs, underline verbs which are incorrect and just write it on the top of the page. So, with this, we will be doing the next page also and uh, till then uh, you have to you have to do only the first page of verbs and you have to for, form five questions with do and does and send me nice videos uh, and the question should be nice and they should be loudly spoken in the video with does and do okay children thank you and have a nice day